Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. I'm just realizing what funky glasses I have on. <laughs> I have lost my regular sunglasses. I don't know where they are. They're probably in some shopping bag. All right, we are at Montgomeryville Goodwill. This is a Goodwill that I usually find the most big, obscure, wonderful things. And today will probably be no different. Now I am hoping for smaller things. It's just much easier in life to list smaller things. But you know, you girl, it's very hard to pass up wonderful things, even when they're big. But I have all the seats down in the Jeep. I do have some other thrifting stuff still back there. All right, let's get inside. This is Montgomeryville Goodwill, one of my top 10 places to thrift. Let's get going and see what we can find to flip for a profit. All right, so today it took me about two hours to get here. Traffic was crazy, but I never want you guys to think that I just, you know, get in the car and in 10 minutes, I'm at a good Goodwill. Sometimes you have to travel for a good store. All right, what do we think we need? Do we need the little cart or the big cart? <laughs> does this one wheel? Of course it doesn't. That would be too easy. It's kind of sticky. We're going to try to put up with it, though, because um, do I want to put up with a sticky cart? No, this one doesn't wheel at all. All right. I guess it's a sign we need a big Goodwill cart. Would you look at the amount of belts in this store? I am just loving belts more and more. I think when I retire, <laughs> I know, collective laugh in the audience. Um, I think I'm going to do belts. I think I'm just going to be a belt seller. That's a shame that this has so much wear at the end because that is a nice belt look at that work it's got some breakage too all right for belts i look for brands i look for the woven ones but they have to be good leather what else do i look for just good leather ones i like tooled leather um brighton is a good women's brand i like to pick up oh look at this one the quality is not there i can feel it it's leather but it's not great Let's see if we can find, if we can spot any good ones. All right, we might have to check back. That almost looks like a Brighton. A lot of times Brighton has the silver um, filigree. What do I want to say? There's another word I'm looking for. Brighton. There it is. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get the Brighton one out. All right, we're going to take this D-ring. See that ring? That's called the D-ring. We're going to take the D-ring. Oh, I see another one out and try to get the bright one off. Can she do it? All right, let's put this one back on. Do we want the thin brown one? Okay, here's the bright one. Phew, $2.99. That is really nice. All right, let's look at the business end of the belt. That's what this is called. Mm, it's got a little bit of breakage there, like inside. You don't see it. I don't know if I want this one or not. Normally I like Brighton, but it seems like the person wearing it kind of broke the leather right there. I think that's a deal breaker. The broken leather is a deal breaker. We're gonna put that one back. I like the belts to be in nice condition. We're not even gonna do ties because I see some ties mixed in. All right, maybe we'll come back to belts and see if any more came out but for now I think I have to wait because I don't want to pick up you know belts just because I like them if they're not in great condition <laughs> all right we're gonna work our way back to hard goods and we're gonna see what's going on there might do some clothing this store is big it's one of the big goodwills I love shopping in big goodwills there's a Tommy jacket. Boy, that's nice. $9.50. Shoo, that is fancy. Is it green tag? No, it's yellow. Darn. It's like a brushed corduroy. All right, stay focused. What did I say? I said we were doing hard goods, right? <laughs> I can't help it. All right, that's a cool bag. All right, I listed the Feed the Children bag, and one of you guys bought it, I think. And um, I think somebody left a comment that the person who bought it, their daughter stole it from them. So I love that. I love when a bag is, you know, just people want it. Desired. Okay, do we see it? Do we see it? The art section. 
This is one of my favorite Goodwills for art. I don't know where to look first. Look at this, it's a mirror with little children looking out from a tree stump. Boy, that's different. Handcrafted pine. I have never seen that. I don't even know how they did that. All right, we're looking for miniatures. We're looking for um, original artwork. What else are we looking for? Just beautiful things. We're looking for good pictures of animals, not photographs, but pictures. We have two interesting pieces down here. This is lovely. Look at that. This looks to be vintage. Oh yeah, we like that. We like that very much. That is gorgeous. It's a girl in a garden. It's matted. It might be double matted. I think single mat. Boy, that's nice. Are there more? Yeah, this is going right in the cart. Gold frame. So pretty. All right, not in the store. Five minutes and we found our first find. Oh, you know what? I should check the price. That would be helpful. Ooh, ten dollars. <sighs> I got so excited for it. I didn't even look at the uh, look at the price. That's not good. Gotta pay attention to the prices. It is a business. It's not just buying what you like. All right, this is the yellow bin where I found the Grand Canyon painting, and that one did sell for four hundred. I don't remember what I paid for that one. Truthfully, not much. Well, that's Monet, or is that Renoir? I should study my art. Internet. Okay, that's just an empty shadow box frame. That's interesting. A second one. I have to say the art in this store is really nice. Really nice. Here's a mirror with a Greek key design. This is like a Greek key lattice. $9.99. Kind of like that. Oh, it has a shelf to it. Hmm, do I want that? I think I'm gonna wait on that. I see a print down here. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Is that wrong to not pick that up? I think you have to have really a certain decor to pull that off. Let's see what this stuff is. It's an airplane, a canvas in case you wanna make your own art. Equestrian, okay. Claude Monet poster. Let's gently put those back. Wow, that's a very big Buddha. Jesus welcoming the little children. Let the children come unto me. Let the little children come unto me. Oh, what is this? Boy, that glass is heavy. Oh, somebody, Peter Rabbit. How was that done? It's very interesting. I don't know if those are postcards. I don't think they're original art. I think they're prints. Very cute. A lot of abstract art today. I'm gonna take a look and see, I really like the way this Goodwill uses these blue bins. All the Goodwills should do this and not crowd them. Come on, Goodwill. All right, that's not bad, kind of plain. Well, that's kind of pretty. Ashland, oh dear. I didn't say it was pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. Let's see what else. We have big lamps, always lamps. I don't know what I'm hoping to find today. I get excited for a lot of different things. I love baskets. I love miniature art. I love pottery. I think this is my very first time finding a bamboo, vintage bamboo bed tray. Maybe Roger will make me breakfast in bed. How wonderful is this? Beautiful. It even has a place for your drink. Now, I don't know what this is gonna go for. I haven't run comps on something like this. I do pick up bent bamboo, different pieces. I have some planters and some regular trays. $4.99 black tag. 
really, really nice. This is a keeper. Okay, was that really silly of me, not getting a big cart? <laughs> the aisles are so tight in all the stores. I always, I always err on the side of a small cart, but then you know me. I filled the small cart up in like 10 seconds. Oh, these baskets are kind of cool. Mm. See, again, the reeds are kind of tiny and it's lacquered looking. That's a shame because I do like that pattern. Got some wood coasters here. Those are kind of nice, probably just from Target. $1.99. Those might be good for the booth, but I don't have the energy to untape and see what the situation is inside. I'm not sure if that's bone or shell or what. All right, I might give that thought. Oh, <laughs> another big item. All right, this one is $9.99. It is a trunk. Do I want a trunk that looks like that? That's not bad for $10. Look how nice that is. Okay, who would want that? Hmm, what kind of decor? That's what I always stop and think about. Like, what kind of decor would this, what kind of house decor would this go with? Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait on that one. I'd need a bigger cart for sure. That is really nice for $9.99. All right, am I talking myself into it or out of it? All right, it would definitely go in the booth. Way too big to ship. It would cost way too much. The size of this is really big. $10. Let me see if I can do this without hitting myself. All right, that's really nice. $10. Uh, we're moving on to the bigger cart. We're gonna have to get the bigger cart. Yeah, I really like this. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, what is it called? N.O. Fern. Something Fern and Bamboo Chest Large. $25 originally. Oh, that's not as high as I thought it would be. Okay, so if you can buy this for $25 new. I mean, it might be vintage new. It's probably like Pier 1, I'm guessing. Oh, now that I've seen that price, now I'm second guessing myself. How much would somebody want to pay for this? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Would you get this? Leave a comment down below. Vote. Would you have bought the trunk? Oh, I think I'm putting it back. All right, let somebody else get the beautiful trunk for $10. Okay, I'm feeling really good about that decision because right now in my dining room, I have three, no, four tables, eight chairs, <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. A girl can only handle so much. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, I like this. Italy. Does that say Italy? A little seashell basket. Oh, that is cute. No chips or breaks, right? I have a tendency to like Italian ceramics and pottery. Yeah, that is really sweet. $2.99, that's going in the cart. Like that very much. There is a lot of good stuff in this store. Hmm. I used to Google different Goodwills and see what towns were around that Goodwill. Look at that Williams Sonoma. Um, to see what the area was like, if there were wealthy towns within the area. See, like Williams Sonoma bowls. Who donates this? All right, so we got seven dollars and five is twelve, fifteen. It's like a pumpkin color. These are beautiful. The big one does have a little bit of scratching from the beaters, but I don't think that's a deal breaker. Okay, kind of heavy to ship. Mm. All right, if this is a booth item, I mean, I could ship this. This is gonna cost somebody like $25 in shipping. It negates the whole idea of it. So it has to go to the booth, and I don't know how much I could charge in the booth. I gotta work that out in my head every time, like where you're selling it, what you're selling it for, what the profit will be. There's a lot of numbers going on inside this brain. Okay, we've seen these plates before. Oh, it's just one. It's not really atomic. Who is this? Temporama. Duragloss decoration. Maybe I haven't seen these. Yeah, I feel like I have. I thought they were Taylor and Smith. Look at these glass bowls. Oh, I like that from my house. All the way down to the little one. What are they getting for those? $7. All right, what else do 
glass. Oh, I see a little a little plate here. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh yeah, I think we're getting this. $3.99. I'll take more of this, please. Look how beautiful that is. Now, I won't make a huge profit on that, but that's all hand painted. So pretty. Let's tuck that right, right there. I have to say once again, this Goodwill gets beautiful uh, donations. Really nice. This is like a Japanese aesthetic. I don't know who makes that. That's catching my eye. Gibson Home, which is not high end. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Falls Graph. Let me eat my words. This is so pretty. I don't buy Falls Graph. Isn't that really pretty? They've got a lot of this set. Ugh, kill me. Sugar and creamer. Should I buy just the sugar and creamer? I guess I should look it up. But look how pretty that is. It's like a watercolor. Bells of Ireland? No. What is foxglove, right? Foxglove. Boy, this is pretty. And then they have this one. Again, Falls Graph. Beautiful. All right, I told myself no dishes unless they really bring good money. All right, we are squeezing in today. The store is crowded. Ugh, ugh, I love these too. $3 a piece. Oh, this is Poppy Trail, California Provincial, I think this is called. These might do okay. All right, so how many are there? Let's put them down on this big silver platter here. Everything is capturing my attention. Look at this, little wood dishes. Okay, I gotta stay focused. Are these not great? Now this one has a little bit of fading. I'm thinking for the three, which would cost me $9. How much would I get for these? I'm gonna say at least 30, $10 a plate. I might go ahead and take these only because I love them so much. Do we love a good chicken? Yes, we do. This is a great chicken or a rooster. You know what I mean. Yeah, we're putting these right in the cart. These are too good to let go. Look how cool those are. Look at the face. I love these. Right, we're flipping to the other side of dishes. I feel like I should know who makes this little bathroom cup and I don't. Okay, it might have had a crack or some crazing that the moisture got in. I would have taken this if it had the toothbrush holder. So if you guys see the toothbrush holder, call it out <laughs> and I'll pick it up. Look how pretty that is. Do we love this store? Yes, we do. This is a really good store. Again, we're in Montgomeryville. Okay, this is, who is this? I don't even know what that says. Something Cannonsburg Pottery? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Those are interesting. No name. All right. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you. We got a lot of ground to cover in this store. So grab yourself something to drink. We're going to go through most of it. What in the world is that? Oh, somebody made that. That's kind of interesting. It looks like a chain pattern. I'm not saying I like it, but boy, that's different. Is this Corel? I don't know that I've ever seen this Corel pattern. Is it Corel? It is. What pattern is that? $9.99, the grapes pattern. Oh, I'm gonna have to comp that. I don't know the Corel grapes pattern. All right, so of course these are on the bottom shelf, so I'm kneeling down to run a comp. The only thing I see that's a little bit similar is Fruit Al Fresco Purple Grapes Dinner Plate Set of Three Corel, $28.99 free shipping. So they're giving you three of these. The thing that I'm not understanding is this is kind of a different pattern. Now here we have the bowls, the dinner plates, and I'm gonna call these the luncheon plates, two, four, six, eight. Eight of them for $7. Two, four, six, I think seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bowls. It would cost me $21 for the set. I don't think this would sell in the booth. I'd have to get like $60 for this. So I'm gonna leave these behind, but I'm not understanding why I'm not finding an eBay comp for this. Now, if I Google imaged it, I'm sure it would come up. But I don't know if these are more rare or what the deal is. I don't see the, I don't see any that are exactly the same. You would think with Corel they'd be, you know, prolific, but 
All right. That's the story there. All right. I'm equally excited about both sides of the aisle here. One is frames where I might be able to find small artwork miniatures, which I'm all about that right now. And this side is small pottery, which is just as exciting. Ceramics, little pieces. Look how cute that is. I think this is meant to have a cover. I don't even know who's making this. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. It's a little soap dish. Oh, what are these? These are kind of pretty. Who's making that? Don't know. Oh, it is a soap dish. Three of them. It's like a golden burgundy. It's kind of pretty. All right. I'm gonna try to pick up the pace a little bit. We'll be here all day. They are so much to look at. We have silver trays down there. A matching set with a ginger jar and this dish here, Classic Traditions. Oh, that's a J.C. Penny exclusive. Well, good for them. Good for you, J.C. Penny. Being all fancy. What does this say? Tijuana, Mexico. All right, wood bowls. That's the kind of wood we're not looking for. I think it's rosewood, but. It's very polished looking. Okay, so I guess we're gonna come down this side and then, or go up this side and come down the other side. I think these are for drinking sake. Look at the inside of the cup. Well, that's lovely. Oh no, a new cart is coming out. Do you see it rolling past? <laughs> we're in trouble now. Can you see anything on there? They have it in boxes. Do I want these sake cups? What does that say, Arita? I really like the way the inside of the cup is printed, but I don't know too many people drinking sake these days. Oh, I really wanna go over there and see what's in that cart. All right, watch my cart, I'll be right back. All right, so I quickly went through the frames. Most of these are photo frames. I didn't see a lot of original, well, I didn't see any original artwork, and that's basically what I'm looking for in the miniatures. Little drawings, little um, watercolors, something done on the fly. Not golf pictures. <laughs> Sophia Loren is lovely. Okay, so lots of photo frames, no artwork. Look at this Lusterware vase. Boy, that's shiny. It has like a like a flower petal top. Doesn't really seem that high quality. 2009, it could say Italy. I'm not feeling this one. I don't even feel like that's Italy. I feel like that's China. All right, I'm gonna have to do a Google image on this because I really can't read the bottom of who the, you know, the maker is or the branding. All right, let me see if I can find something here. Okay, beautiful Nippon style Asian theme house, green gold. Oh, you can buy them on Amazon. Seems like they are 47 pounds, I'm gonna say. I think that's pounds. Yeah, so not really, not really all this and that, but, um, but very shiny, very, very sparkly. All right, we have a cat up here. Somebody made a cat. Oh, the painting job is really nice. Look at that. So it's like a mantle sitter. Oh, Suzanne never made it. Gillette? Gillette or Gillette? Pennsylvania, 2006, oh, $17. Yeah, I think Goodwill is, is pricing right on. I think that is worth $17. So not a lot of room for resale, but look how sweet that is. Oh, that is really cute. It's got a little bit of a crack here. It doesn't really seem detrimental, but it might be where the wood is joined. Okay, we're going to put him back on the top so he can keep these two girls company. I think if that cat was $4.99, I would take him. Of course. Of course, of course. Oh, oh, hold the phone. Is he a creamer? Oh, he is. He is a pig creamer. 
Oh, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. He's not always a cranky pig creamer. Always everything. Probably made in Japan. He's lost his foil sticker, but do we love him? Yes, we do. <sighs> Where shall we tuck him? Maybe we'll tuck him right in the seashell basket. Will he stay there safely? You know what? I think I'm just going to put him separate so he doesn't break. Oh, that was a good find. I turned a corner and there he was. Does he have any friends? Oh, what are these swans here? They're an ornament. House of Matten. I don't know who House of Matten is. All right, and we have a camera lens. Focal, I don't think that's very good. I move over to the side so people can pass. Being in the middle of the aisle like I own the place. That's a cute mouse. The hat is very dirty. Okay. Oh, I'm very happy with my pig creamer. Stuff like that brings me joy. I'm not going to make a lot of money on it, but just to see he wasn't chipped or cracked. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is just wrong in every way. Oh, and she has bright red nails. She's scary. Yeah, she's a top shelf contemplator. I don't know what this aisle is. I'm still trying to figure it out. We've got Batman umbrellas. We've got bicentennial ashtrays. Griffith pottery. Or Orland? Orland. Huh, Pennsylvania. So why does Orland, Pennsylvania feel they need to make bicentennial ashtrays? Like you're putting your cigarette out on our founding father's heads. That's not good. That's not good. All right, we have figurines. I don't see anyone of note. We have a very fancy couple in the back, singing and dancing. All right, I don't want to look at plastic wear. How's that for a truthful statement? I can't even. Although these are really nice to have to keep a wreath in. Right now my wreaths are hanging from the, um, the basement beams in the ceiling and that's working out okay so I'm just gonna leave that situation like that there's a vintage wreath look at that $20 they're recognizing it's vintage all right let's catch this end cap before we go down the aisle huh Woodbury's woodware hand turned birch Burlington Vermont oh that's interesting I don't like the style of them though. I'm sorry, Burlington. Okay, we're on the curtains, curtain hardware, drapery poles, aisle, window treatments. I've heard that a lot of the Goodwills have pared down their linens, so I guess they're all going to the bins now, the outlet center. I'm not quite sure, but they all have some. All right, what is this here? vacuum sealed that seems like it might be a duvet cover but how would we know we'd have to open it which would ruin the vacuum sealing of it okay as usual top shelf two waverly lamps these are like candlestick lamps has the waverly home classic sticker these are really nice ten dollars a piece though so 20 for the two, I'd have to get 50 for the two. I don't know if somebody in the booth would pay $50 for two Waverly lamps. They are really nice. This is like a wood base, I think, unless it's a resin that looks like wood. Hmm. The shades are fairly clean, so that's nice. What do you guys think of these? Kind of like shabby chic, although I would never use that term unless it was Rachel Ashwell. Yeah, I think it's just too high, $20 for the two. It's all about the buy-in price. If you can keep your buy-in price low, you can do well, especially in the booth, because in the booth, people are really looking for a deal. You know, there are a lot of local people or a lot of people on vacation, and they're just looking to enjoy the booth experience, you know, shop all the vendors. So they're not going to be laying out big money. I could ship those, it's not terribly hard, but the box is gonna be very big. Yeah, I think $20 is just too much, unfortunately. 
I should look up Waverly Home Classics, though. I'll do that before I leave them just to make sure, you know, they wouldn't bring like $200, which I'm almost positive they wouldn't, but nice find. I really like that cottage style. Okay, now I'm wondering if those lamps are Waverly Home Classic or it's just the shades and somebody stuck a sticker underneath because the only ones I find that are similar is just the shade is um is waverly home classics like this one here i think that's the same shade but somebody has put it on you know a vintage lamp which looks really sweet and they're selling it oh they sold it 16 dollars. yeah so i don't think that's really going to do me any good paying 20 dollars. but really nice flow blue is that what this is called made in china <laughs> it's an invitation flow blue kind of pretty ironstone i think flow blue is i don't even know if i'm saying that right is ironstone right naturally this is a reproduction there's some little blue plates made in china i'm so glad that the mckinley act made everything label what country it came from it makes my job so much easier handcrafted in thailand so that would be the 90s i think those are kind of pretty $3.99. Do we want two blue candlesticks? Mm, not for $8. But those are pretty, I have to say. And I'm not even really a blue person. I don't decorate with blue. At least I don't think I do. The watch I'll go home and be like, oh, I have blue all over my house. All right, we're doing the end caps. This obviously is the green and beige. Wow, look at that big gold leaf. $6.99. That is big. Not as heavy as I thought. Here's a bubble vase, quite heavy. But the bubbles are just random. They're not like a controlled bubble. All right, I think we saw this end cap. Just going back through just to make sure I saw everything. Oh, $9.99, look at them getting all trendy and it's got a crack, come on, Goodwill. $9.99, that's crazy. That's just craziness. Okay, so we are just about to head out. Oh, that is a shame that that has a crack. You know, I would love to know the original use for all of these beautiful dishes. Even the Victorians had a little implement or tool or dish for everything they did. It was like an olive dish, an olive pit dish, an olive tongs. It was like crazy. Now it's kind of like we all eat on melamine plastic plates, microwave safe dishes. Um, so what was I saying? Not much has come out in this store, but it's fine because look how crowded the shelves are. They're doing a great job in this store, so shout out to you, Montgomeryville. It's always a pleasure to shop here. The staff is wonderful. They don't have a lot of junk on the shelves. Really nice donations and fair prices. Now, you won't come here and get everything for 99 cents. Not that kind of store. But, um, you know, maybe we'll just go next door. We'll see. I'll see what it looks like. Next door is the, um, is the outlet, is the bins. And um, that bins is not so great. I really like the outlet in Middletown. But anyway, this is what I'm buying today. I think you guys saw everything. I'm gonna head up front. I'm not gonna do clothing in this store. It's too much, just too much. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. All right, I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of what the outlet looks like next to Montgomeryville Goodwill, next to the regular store that we just came out of. Piles of clothing. Now these bins don't change out as frequently as some of the other locations. Middletown, in my opinion, is the best outlet center. Here I'm finding two things. I got excited for this quilt. It's kind of like that real cottage core. Unfortunately, it does have damage. Now I could sew this, but I don't feel that it's worth it. And see the, the batting is kind of disintegrating a little bit. Beautiful style though. So I almost picked that up. Of course, I'd give it a good soak and OxyClean and all the laundry detergent. I'm still tempted to take it, but I really don't have time to sit down and you know mend where it's got some areas of of distressing or damage it's a shame i don't see any real horrible stains on it and somebody can really do a nice job with that i think it's a twin size all right the second item that i dug for this is genuine shearling i think it's sheepskin it would be my guess 
and when I unzipped it, oh, I'm not sure if this is a papoose or what this is. At first I thought it was a vest. It's definitely not a vest. Here is the maker's brand, French Creek Sheep and Wool Company. So it's kind of like an envelope. So I first had guessed a woman's vest before I really started looking at it. And then I thought a pillowcase, but I think it's a baby papoose. I'm absolutely taking this beautifully clean, really nice. Now I will use a wipe on this that's meant for this material just to make sure that, you know, it's in good shape going out. I don't know what this would weigh and what is the price here? The price is $1.89 per pound for all merchandise. So I can't imagine this would weigh more than two pounds. So $4, that's a definite yes. All right, I wasn't really planning on doing a lot of digging. I just wanted to come in to give you guys an overview of what this location is like. So this is the outlet or the bins attached to the Goodwill store that we just came out of, Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania. There's some nice stuff here, but it's not as nice as Middletown, in my opinion. I like the Middletown outlet better. I don't get there a lot. I'm not digging these days, much too time consuming, but thought you'd enjoy a peek. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.